Hey there, Matplotlib community. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive web app that incorporates Matplotlib using Python and Dash. So this dashboard has uh, a drop down, and the drop down option that is chosen will actually update the y axis of this Matplotlib bar chart that we build. It will also update this tabular data called dash ag grid it will update the background color of the column chosen to gray lastly we'll have a, a small uh, plotly express bar chart so you can also see how to do the same thing in plotly in case you're interested but we're going to focus most of our tutorial on this map plot lib figure so to follow along i would highly recommend you go into this uh, link under the video uh, copy it and just put it inside your Python IDE like this. Select all and just paste it and you will have it. Now, I recommend you run this app so you can see it on your computer. It will be much easier to, to follow along. So to run the app, uh, what you will have to do, uh, if you don't have these libraries installed, you should start installing them. So in this case, we'll need to install Dash. You'll do pip install Dash, copy it, open up your terminal, paste pip install dash, enter, and watch dash be installed, and then pip install dash bootstrap components. I'll update this on the code, components. Install pandas, and pip install matplotlib. Once everything is installed, all you have to do is click on this play or run button, and once you do that, um, it will bring this up, and you just click on the link, and it will open uh, the app on your browser. After you have the libraries, we in this code, we are incorporating uh, a CSV sheet into a pandas data frame. So we're reading this online CSV sheet, which is this one right here, very small CSV sheet with four or five columns, and reading it into our app as a, a pandas data frame, DF. We're going to instantiate dash, and then we are going to look into our app layout. And the app layout is everything that exists inside on the page. Everything that goes inside the layout is displayed on the page. So let's, from line 52, let's go all the way down and just hashtag this out, control question mark or control um, forward slash, uh, just so we look at the layout, nothing else, just the layout. If we refresh, you'll see we only have a drop down and, and this. So let's see what we have on our layout. So we have, first of all, we have our HTML H1, our header. This is the title. And then we have our, inside the next row, we have our DCC dropdown. That's only four columns wide, right? So that's why you see it only on the left side of the page. And we have uh, the initial value chosen, number of solar plants. But all the other options are the rest of the columns inside the data frame. So here you have four different options. In the second row, we have an empty HTML image. There's nothing in here, it's just an ID. And that's why you don't, it's gonna be here, but you don't see it on the page yet. We'll see it later with the app callback. And lastly, you have the final row at the bottom where we have an empty graph on the left side of the page. And we have an empty um, DCC graph right here, dash graph, and on the right side, we have a dash ag grid, which is this tabular data with all the data from the data frame assigned to the row data property. And then you have the column definition. This is the, the headers of the, of the columns. You see this on top. Cool. So let's go back to line 52, highlight everything, control question mark, control forward slash, and now go back up. And this callback is what is used to actually um, build the matplotlib figure, build a plotly express figure, and display it on the page. So let's let's look at what it's doing. Let's refresh this. I'm going to refresh this again, and now we'll see the matplotlib figure and everything like before. Okay. So first of all. I'm going to take as an input, I'll take the value of this category. This is a drop down where this ID belongs to the drop down, drop down ID. So I'm going to take the initial value 
all right, as an input and call it into the callback uh, function as, as an argument. So the selected y axis is the same as this, right? If we chose that option. If we chose a different option, then this will be installed equal to install capacity as well. Install capacity and so on and so on. But we're making it dynamic. So we're going to keep it as selected y axis, a selected drop down option. And inside the callback function, we're building the matplotlib figure. So if you're familiar with matplotlib, this should be very um, easy to understand. We're just building the plotlib, matplotlib uh, bar chart with the x axis being the data frame state column. You see the state column right here. And the height will be the data frame. Um, uh, select select y axis. So whatever the, the y axis uh, of the drop down uh, option was. So if the drop down is number of solar plants, then this will be the the height of the matplotlib bar chart or the y axis. And then we put the label, the y label, as the same string. We rotate, and here is the important part. Here's where you actually save the matplotlib figure as a temporary buffer, and then you, you, you embed the result as an HTML output, right, of like uh, image data. So once you have this, now you can actually take this end result, figbar matplotlib, and you can return it. We'll return it here as the first object returned in the callback function. And any object returned in dash in a callback function is assigned, remember this, any object return is assigned to the component property of the output. So in this case, this is assigned to the source of this ID. Whatever this ID is, let's go back. This is the ID right here. So that object is assigned to the SRC source like that, matplotlib. This is actually what what it's doing, the source property, right? Because the source property of an HTML dot image can take this HTML output, and that is how this matplotlib figure is displayed inside this row, right above, right under the the dropdown, right here. Okay, now I'm going to erase this because we want this to be dynamic and not static, not always the same matplotlib bar chart. So, which is pretty pretty cool to know. It's pretty uh, helpful because you can create any matplotlib. You can create a scatter plot, any figure that you want with matplotlib. Just save it, the temporary buffer, save it as an HTML output, and just return it to the source of an HTML image, and you will see it displayed on the page. After that, we just create a brief uh, plotly express bar chart. Also, data frame used is df, x axis is state, y axis is this um, drop down option, which represents one of the columns inside the, the data. And, and then we return this as the second object, which is returned to the figure property of this ID in the output. Right? The figure property is right here, so it's returned right here, like that. Because in Plotly in Dash, you can return any Plotly Express figure. You can do a scatter. You can do a pie chart. You can return. You can put any Plotly Express figure. You can assign it to the figure property of a DCC graph, and that is how you actually display um, figures on on a page in the Dash app. And lastly, we just return this uh, conditional styling of cells right here to the to the third um, output component property, and this is how we actually um, style the 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 columns uh, with with the gray background, right? So that's it. Uh, this is a minimal uh, dash uh, Python app that's interactive that incorporates matplotlib figures inside of it. You can create any figure that you want and you can connect it to any component that you want. If you have any more questions, go into the description of the video. You, I'll add more resources there and just write us right in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to help. Hope you learned a lot. Have a good one.